Welcome to day 344 of our DSO journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian. Remember these videos are being sponsored by NFT Tech. They are an investor in Cloud Feed. So yesterday, Alex Villetis gave a video update. Uh, it was his second video update. It seems like he's going to be doing this on a weekly basis, maybe every Friday now. Uh, he did go over some of the things that are happening behind the scenes. He said that he admitted that their marketing efforts aren't up to par or they haven't been up to par, but they are making some hirings that, that he hopes will bring that up to par and beyond. Uh, they're looking to hire a growth marketing lead, a business development lead, and an Octane fund manager in the coming weeks. So I, I think that's awesome. You know, I, I think they need some more people to take some of the burden off of the shoulders of the guys like Natter and uh, Alex and Ty and other individuals on the team. So that's good news. What do you think, Brian? Yeah, I, I, I love, first of all, I, I love that Alex is doing these videos. They're, they're raw. It's not like he's planning them out and, and like editing them or anything like that. I, I, liked what he's I like that he's doing that. But yeah, I, I think it's important that they hire more people. Uh, clearly, uh, I think some of, the, some of the employees of CORE are overwhelmed. Uh, or the employees of the foundation, I guess you'd say. Um, somebody for, for growth marketing would be huge. I, I think that just if you have somebody concentrating their entire week on marketing, whereas you don't have to pull that time away from somebody else within the uh, foundation, I think that's going to be big. A uh, business developer lead, of course, that's going to be incredibly important, especially as we get more nodes and as this becomes more of a business in the sense that there's a lot of different elements that need to be managed. And of course, Octane Fund, Alex is doing a tremendous job with Octane Fund, but obviously his, he's here not just for Octane Fund and we need somebody that can just concentrate just on Octane Fund, concentrate on reaching out to the, all of the projects and all of the, uh, all the new companies that are forming under DSO, I guess. Yeah, and during that video, he also mentioned uh, NFTZ's new uh, UI UX, Supernova's roadmap that they put out. And he also mentioned Kaleido and Real Simple Labs and said that they're going to be going public with their apps in the coming months. So he seems to be really excited about what's going on as far as app developers building on DSO. Uh, he also mentioned a new round of major league hackings taking place. Uh, there's a hackathon this weekend, and they're going to give some updates on that next week. So NFTZ, yesterday we talked about the NFTZ page for, um, what are we making? It? Oh, for the space NFT, NFTZ space. And so there's a page where you can go and you can see all the NFTs from DSO that went to space as part of NFTZ space. Now there's also a Ukrainian page. So if you go to nftz.zone forward slash pages, forward slash Ukraine, you'll get there. You can also get there if you just go to nftz.zone and click on the link at the top. But it's basically showing all of the NFTs that are charities for Ukraine. There's, I know there's some Matreshka nesting dolls there. There's uh, Brutal's daughter who did some things. Uh, there's a clout punk. There's several on there. You go check those out. Donate to Ukraine by buying some NFTs. And you can do that all through this new Ukraine page that we added to NFTZ.zone. Yeah. Uh and, and I love all these projects. I think it's, like I said before, the community has really come together to help the Ukrainian members of DSO as well as just Ukraine in general. Uh, some of the charities just donate right to the Ukrainian uh, Bitcoin account while others provide uh, DSO to the Ukrainian users on DSO. Um, but this is just one of the things that we can do with NFTZ now. We, it's easy for us to make just pages, sub pages where we can where we can kind of aggregate different uh, NFTs from different people. So look for more of this in the future. Um, any way we can help with Ukraine, I think is great. But uh, yeah, uh, yesterday was an interesting day for Pearl. Uh, Reed made a post saying he's gonna he's about to he said going to make my first of many posts on the Pearl app today. So obviously he has access to the Pearl app that hasn't been released publicly yet. He also made a post, which appears to be the first post from the Pearl op saying, first post on Pearl, who is going to the after party festival? And he posted an image. So Reed has access to the Pearl app. I assume he's one of their early investors. Um, 
the post looked like a normal post with an image when you view it on Diamond App. But it's going to be interesting to see what Perl does, what it allows for, how it differentiates itself from Diamond App. And I, I assume that's coming soon because, you know, there's this beta testing going on, or I guess you could say alpha testing. I don't know what you want to call it, but it appears to be coming soon. Yeah, we've been hearing about Perl, formerly Gem, for probably like six or seven months now. Like, like, and there's a lot of buzz saying that this could be the killer app. Um, I think Dow Dow is going to be a killer app, but to have two killer apps would be even more incredible. But yeah, I, I think we're getting close to kind of starting to see what Perl is all about. And uh, Reed obviously has a sneak peek, though. Yeah, and speaking of Dow Dow, they seem to be growing super fast. Yeah, so yesterday there was another purchase of a gold ticket or a golden ticket. Uh, it cost, I think it's what, 2,500 DSO to buy a gold ticket, which was $100,000 when DSO was $40, but now that is around 30, it's more like $75,000, $80,000. Um, Mr. Shib bought a second gold ticket, number 69. Uh, High Key also uh, made a post yesterday saying that they're considering, they're thinking about buying a golden ticket as well. Uh, it, I, I, I have to say, like, I think it's, it's very tempting. I know we bought a couple of the silvers um, because I feel like this could be the, like I said before, the uh, killer app on DSO. And all it will take is one, one major DAO to really bring forward DAO DAO as well as DSO because it's so can intertwined with You DSO. won't do it, High Key. You won't do it. <laughs> you won't do it, High Key. You won't buy a golden ticket. Um, no, but... Uh, there's some other details that it might have been in the white paper. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know. But uh, I, I was reading this yesterday, and one percent of all Dow Dow funding will go back to Dow Dow. Uh, not Dow Dow funding. I, I kind of messed that up. So one percent of all new Dows that launch on Dow Dow, one percent of the funding they take in is a fee that goes back to Dow Dow coin holders. So if you're buying that Dow Dow NFTs to get some of the Dow 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 coins, I said Dow Dow so many times, uh, you are actually buying equity, equ an equity position pretty much. And you're going to take a share of that 1% that Dow Dow brings in from the fees they charge all the other Dows that list on them, as so well as 100% of the commission from the swaps. So, so as people swap maybe Ethereum for, for DSO or DSO for Bitcoin or whatever on Dow Dow, you're going to get also get 100% of the, that revenue as a coin holder. You're going to share in that revenue. Yeah. So, um, so when you say share in that revenue, is that it just go, basically goes into the, um, into the bank for Dow Dow, right? It's not actually being distributed to each of the right. equity well, owners. Well, it, it could be. So, so if, if you as a Dow Dow, Dow coin holder vote to, hey, distribute 10% of, of profit to coin holders and, every, and enough votes, get enough votes for that, then yeah, you could actually get DSO or Bitcoin for being a coin holder. Uh, it's all, we all have to wait to see how it plays out, but uh, there was, they've raised $219,000 so far. And I really feel the momentum's picking up. If you're, if you go into the Dow Dow Discord, literally like three days ago, there are 400 people in there. Today, it's reached 1,000. So it, it's growing rapidly, especially over the last like three or four days. So I think, I think we're getting closer to getting more information. And of course, we're only like 26 days or so away from the, uh, the ticker ticking down and Dow Dow launching. Haiki is not baller enough to buy a gold ticket. <laughs> <laughs> That's a challenge, Haiki. That's just a, me challenging you. Um, yeah, well, I, I, I love the idea of Dow Dow. And what we had to keep in mind is that if Dow Dow explodes, all the social content on Dow Dow is actually taking place on the DSO blockchain. And I also don't know how, you know, like the monetary aspects are going to take place when somebody buys Dow tokens. Are they doing it with DSO? If they're using Ethereum or Bitcoin to do so, is it being converted to DSO? I don't, I don't know how all that, that's going to work. It's going to be interesting to see how that whole system works. Because if it does, that could be also another great thing for DSO. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree. I, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, and I'm excited to see what kind of DAOs are going to launch. I know that the, the core team's likely going to launch several. Um, they're kind of they're kind of outlined on the DAO.io page, uh, some of those. But uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Well, it's a DAO.io page with the password. If you just right. go to DAO.io, it doesn't work. But uh, we did post the password a few, I guess like a week or so ago, where you can actually get access. Um, so the top hashtags on DSO today, Brian. Or I thanks guess to I Open Prosper. Thanks to Open Prosper, the top five this time. Hashtags yesterday was four. Uh, Silo wrote and said that there was a minimum usage of five times a hashtag had to be used before it made it into that list. So early yesterday, there weren't enough hashtag usage, I guess, to have five. That's why there were four yesterday. Today, the top five are DSO, music, NFT, wordplay, and NFTs. So NFT and NFTs, that's interesting. So it's who a lot are of, the top, what were you saying, Brian? There's a lot of NFT stuff going on, I guess, with supernovas and, and uh, NFTs this week. Yes. And so what were the, who were the top earners from DSO? Yeah, okay. So yesterday, they're the staggering $101,560 earned. And most of that, 93852 of that was because of Dow Dow selling a gold ticket and some silver tickets and some bronze tickets. But there were 953 creators who earned DSO in total. That's down a little bit from the last couple of days. Uh, Fridays are usually a little bit more slow. 23 creators earned at least one DSO. Uh, and the top 10 were, like I mentioned, Dow Dow, then Real Zach, Addy Wallet, Test Capital, The Nobody, Seals, Unicat, Manic, La Big Mac and Cloud Cox. Uh, so thanks again to uh, Open Prosper for those stats uh, and congrats to everybody who earned. Yeah, and so the community events for today, I'm very disappointed Miss Katie Ann didn't get, send me her report yet today. I don't know, I hope everything's okay because it's very unlike Miss Katie Ann to miss a morning without sending the, the details of community events. Maybe so, too much partying last night. Maybe. But I did go to DSO calendar, DSO Cal, and there is a Vibe Hut, a Vibe Hut um, hangout today. It doesn't say what, I can't get it to say what time though, because DSO Cal doesn't seem to be working when I click on the event. So at some point today, there's a Vibe Hut hangout. Uh, hopefully, Miss Katie Ann can reply to this post and provide the time. And I hope, yeah, I hope all is well in your world, Miss Katie Ann. Yeah, and, and I just want to say something. Um, I talked to my nephew, my 12-year-old nephew last night. He actually watches all of these videos, and he made fun of me wearing tight, tight gym shirts and Ed wearing tank tops all the time. So neither of us are wearing a tank top or a tight gym shirt. The reason we do that is because we go to the gym like right after we make these videos or soon after, so we don't want to dirty another shirt. But today we have regular shirts on, a DSO shirt, and I hope that uh, Sawyer is happy. Speaking of which, Alex, uh, Alex mentioned my biceps yesterday in, in our video, and he said that he was going to break out his biceps, but he recorded a video yesterday, and he didn't, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, I think he got a little scared. Yeah, you're talking about Alex with latest, of course, right? Yes, but anyway, have a great weekend, everyone, and we will talk to you tomorrow.